40% of the world's population is living under the threat of contracting malaria. Malaria is a disease that is more acute than, than ever because people move around. Uh, we of course see the effects of climate change, so the vectors are also moving around. And therefore what used to be a defined area where malaria is endemic might change over time. So there is no vaccine available at the moment. There is something that is available, but it's far from being optimal. It provides only a partial uh, short-lived immune response. The, the bigger success story at the moment are our drugs. We have a handful of, of drugs that are used, but against each and every one of those drugs, we actually see drug resistance in the field. In order to be successful in combating the disease, we need different approaches. If we only have drugs, we are most likely failing. If we are only using bed nets, we are failing. We, we will fail if we have a vaccine and just use the vaccine because the parasite always adapts to those things. But if we use two or three intervention strategies, that might be actually successful in combating the disease. Our collaboration between ANU and Humboldt University is an international graduate school. So we have PhD students that work on specific projects that deal with the interaction between the parasite and the host. I think the program has a unique edge to its vision because it combines different areas of expertise. It's at a scale where we have different um, perspectives that, that come together. And by combining those different perspectives, we will be able to solve the problem of malaria much more efficiently.